Hello, today's devotional can be found in 1 Nephi, chapter 1, verse 1. I, Nephi, having been born of goodly parents, therefore I was taught somewhat in all the learning of my father, and having seen many afflictions in the course of my days, nevertheless having been highly favored of the Lord in all my days, having had a great knowledge of the goodness and of the mysteries of God, therefore I make a record of my proceedings in my days. All right. Well, first of all, we are children of God and our Heavenly Mother, and they love us very much. But they knew it was essential for us to come down here and learn and grow and prosper and experience mortality. And they sent us, just like they sent Jesus Christ. And we were born to parents all over the world, and in every circumstance imaginable. And they're goodly. All parents are goodly. According to their understanding. And as parents are exposed to new understandings, they become more goodly, if they so choose. And parents have a divine responsibility to teach their children all that they have learned and all that the world has to offer. And also, if they know of God and Jesus Christ, it's their responsibility to teach their children of God and Jesus Christ. Hmm. And children will grow as they learn, and they'll age as time passes. And they'll absorb knowledge as they are taught it by anyone who cares enough to teach them. And it's because of the atonement that we can all absorb knowledge that will help make us wise in decisions. And, help, and we can come to Christ as we are that we might be perfected in Him over time in refinement. And we suffer afflictions by one of two things, either by a test of our faith and an opportunity at refinement, or because of our own choices we suffer the consequences. But if we are faithful and righteous through all things, even if we may not have the opportunity to be members of the church, we can still be faithful and righteous and if we are faithful and righteous, we will be highly favored of the Lord. And He will look up for us if we want Him to. See, God is there for everyone. Christ is there for everyone. But they can only help those who want to be helped. If they try and help people who don't want help, it would be taking away their agency. But we have ample opportunity to learn of the goodness and the mysteries of God. If not from our parents and from other people who will teach us throughout the course of our lifetime. And we have the opportunity to feel the Spirit of God and to gain the Holy Ghost after faith, repentance, and baptism by immersion. And if we experiment, and find God and Christ's words to be true and right, we should make a record of how we feel when we come to that knowledge of ourselves, of ourselves being of infinite worth. And we shouldn't be afraid to learn and to embrace God and to teach with the Spirit as our companion, because the Spirit will help us to be able to teach others all that, they, all that we are supposed to. It's our divine duty, even through records, even through keeping records, or by example, to teach others around us after we have come to a surety of things, of all things good ourselves. But it's our choice what we must do, but we shouldn't squander our time on earth as it is limited. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.